start. So talk to us about your enthusiasm for this fight, man. I mean, how can I not be excited, man? You know, I'm fighting a legend, a living legend. You know, um, those who know about Keith Thurman know I wanted Floyd, I wanted Manny, I wanted everybody at the top the day I hit number 10 on the spot, you know? Um, I believe that I was always going to be here. It was just a matter of time. Um, you know, it's just an exciting fight, man. Back in Vegas, I've been fighting Vegas in many years. You know, headliner, pay-per-view. We're in L.A., man, so, you know, lots of Manny fans are here, lots of Manny supporters, man. And, you know, he might uh, fill the ring up with a lot of uh, Asians, but at the end of the day, man, he's not going to be able to surpass my skills, my talent, and everything that I've got coming from. Kid, you said you were crucified. Huh? You said you were crucified. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's over, bro. It's over. You know, and the thing is, Manny doesn't like to talk because talk doesn't do nothing. But, you know, unless if you're going to do what you say you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, you know, it's not about selling the fight. It's about living my best life. My best life is Keith Thurman knocking out Manny Pacquiao, not Keith Thurman in a 12-round decision, in a split decision, in a majority decision, in a, in a draw, in a loss. My best life, living my best life, ain't going back to fuck with me. Look, bro, we, we on a whole new level. I was out of the game. The game wasn't that exciting. I'm back in the game. Look at the excitement I'm bringing, baby. Look what's happening right now, you know? I mean. I unified, I was number one. People argue this and that, but you know, when I put the stamp, when I make him exit stage left, you know, the world will know Keith One Time Thurman is back and he's the baddest boy in the walkerweight division. How much do you think your size is? You, you mentioned your size up Look, there. How much my, is my size right is going to be um, a problem, but it's not, that's not a weight size advantage. It's the overall um, reach advantage, you know? Um, Manny Pacquiao has T-Rex arms. I don't know if you noticed that. He got these little T-Rex arms. He had a hard time beating up Jeff Warren. He thinks he's gonna beat up Keith Thurman. You know, I mean, Manny Pacquiao, they, they have the quote wrong. I said Adrian Broner didn't hit him in the face. I didn't say that Manny Pacquiao cannot get hit in the face. His name is not Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather does not get hit in his face. Manny Pacquiao gets hit in his face all the time. Adrian Broner just didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming to do it. Back at the MGM brand, you know, I want him to remember what it's like to be against a real fighter, to be up against a puncher, like when he was fighting uh, amongst Eric Morales, when, when he was, um, uh, uh, fighting Marquez, you know, and, and I'm bigger than Marquez, you know, I'm faster than Marquez, and my, my ring IQ, you know, that's one thing that people don't understand about Keith One Time Thurman, I'm an adaptive fighter, I look at your, what you're throwing at me, I look at your gimmicks, and I find the next gimmick that takes away from everything that you're doing, so to me, he's not touching me, he ain't landing nothing with them T-Rex arms, he's hopping in and out, and he's gonna get caught in the process, there's not one round I see Manny Pacquiao winning. So you're not concerned with his ability to throw a lot of punches. He's, he's a punch thrower. Punches and punches is kind of what he's known for. You're not concerned with that at all? He didn't throw that many punches his last fight. Okay, he didn't throw a lot, you know. Did he? Yeah, he throw a lot. Into the fight, he didn't he, throw a lot, you know. And punches and bunches, that might have happened like five something years ago. If you're on the ropes, he started to tee off on AB on the ropes, you know? So if, if if I let him get me on the ropes, I think he's gonna feel more comfortable. To me, Manny Pacquiao is not the same fighter. Uh, he's a tremendous fighter, but ever since he got laid out, he's more cautious. And I'm gonna hit him with a reminder. Rem remember, I said, I'm gonna hit him with a reminder, okay? And I'm pretty sure he's gonna be very cautious. You know, senators, they like to think now that, you know, senators gotta think, you know what I'm saying? So after I remind him, I hit him with that reminder, we're gonna see how he ends up fighting the fight. Do you think Broner was a gun-shy fighter? Look, man, I think, I think Broner's really good at running his mouth. That's what he's really good at. He doesn't put it, I don't know how much he runs his feet in his training camps, and he's definitely not running his hands around in the ring. So, I said years ago at the MGM brand, I forget who I was talking to, I said, man, y'all gotta get the clicker out and just get that boy to up his punch count. I was team Broner. This is a big fight for me. I wanted this fight the whole time. But I was in Broner's corner because 
I believe we're in a new generation. Manny Pacquiao is done. Floyd Mayweather is done. And Manny's just one year younger. That means he shouldn't last more than one year after Floyd. And we're at that pinnacle right now. So, I mean, I mean it when I say this is Manny Pacquiao's last fight. Do you think it's going to be the same script that he delivered to Oscar De La Hoya 10 years ago? Do you feel like the same parallels are there? You mentioned it yesterday. How do you see that same thing happening in your He's situation? the big name. Oscar was the big name that he was fighting, you know? He's the big name. I'm trying to make a name. And that's the whole premise of this fight, is that I'm going to build my legacy by ending his, you know? And it's just it's just part of boxing, man. This, this is how it works. This is a beautiful sport, you know? Uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, you know? He was in the ring uh, when he wasn't supposed to be in the ring. He took fights that he wasn't supposed to take. Many fighters take fights that they're not supposed to take. The only difference is nobody told him he wasn't supposed to take the fight. Will you? Will you? to keep him from having and moving in that footwork that he's always doing. His footwork isn't that um, spectacular. It's, it's, it's in and out. He's hopping in and out. He's hopping in and out. Why? Because he's got to jump with them T-Rex arms. You know, he can't really hit you. He can't just extend and utilize his reach. He has to jump into the punch. And I think that's going to be a, a major downset in this um, competition because as he's jumping in, I'm countering. You know, and this ain't a Floyd Mayweather counter. This is a Keith one time Thurman counter. Keith, Will you what was the face off like when you guys faced off twice yesterday, twice today? Did you say anything? Did he say anything? Uh, we're gonna have fun, man. He's a legend. He's fought so many times, you can't intimidate 70, him. 70 times. You can't, 70 you can't intimidate him, you know? But I don't need to intimidate him. I say you don't gotta be scared to get knocked, knocked out. You know what I mean? You don't gotta be scared to get knocked out. You don't gotta be scared to get your ass whooped. You just show up. Your ass get whooped. It's, you know what I mean? So, Look, man, he's got a great team. he got all his hype people. He's never been in the ring with Keith One Time Thurman. He's never been in the ring with a arm partner that's anything close to Keith One Time Thurman. Look, I told everybody back in the day, I got to oh, I'm not afraid to let it go. If this 40-year-old man beats me, he beats me. And if he beats me, I mean, we already know he's a bad man, but we're going to know at 40 years old, he a bad man. Because at 30 years old, I'm a bad man. Would you that's retire what we're going to see. Would you huh? retire if he wins? Probably. Probably. <laughs> I'd at least think about it. I'd at least, I'd at least just be like, uh, can I do some more commentating or something? Can I do some more commentating? Mama said I look good in a suit. I don't think she want to see her boy getting punched on TV, being getting beat up by old men. You know, like I said, man, I fought many veterans, man, and I respect veterans. And veterans are are what uh, help fighters like me. You know, um, and this ain't gonna be the first veteran I retire. You know, um, Carlos Quintana. Carlos Quintana uh, fought Keith Thurman. At the presser, he said, after Keith Thurman, I want Canelo Alvarez. There was no fight after Keith Thurman. Okay. Sometimes they don't know until somebody shows them the truth. You have to be, you have to be presented. Manny Pacquiao is a tremendous fighter. He's a world champion, ex-world champion, a legend. But I do not believe you can. I don't. You can. I won't. I do not believe that he belongs at the top of 147 today. Not against me, not against Errol, not against Crawford, not against Sean, not against Danny Garcia. Who's at the top of that list? Who's at the top of that list? Keith, one time, time? Keith, following, on, following the fight with Jose Cito, do you feel as if you deserve to be the favorite to win the fight? The odds, the odds makers course. are saying. Of course. So. Of course. Numbers don't lie. You want to bet against a dude that's never lost? Against a dude that's lost seven times? You want to put your money? I haven't lost, any, well, I haven't lost anybody, but even in my whole career as an amateur, you can't bring up my record and show me when I got beaten by a man that's been beaten seven times, okay? Do you feel he's kind of picking you at a right time considering the Lopez fight? You think he I think he thinks. I think he thinks it's the right time. What he don't under it, understand is I was brushing off the dust and they saw the dust. It's gone. There ain't going to be no dust come July 20th. Jose Cito Lopez, we... We brushed that off, baby. We brushed that off. We took the hit. Mm. We took the hit. We showed you what real champs do. And that's stay in the ring. That's stay fighting. That's staying active. Okay? 
when you when you see Keith Thurman get caught, when you see Keith Thurman in trouble, what do you see? You don't see Keith Thurman panic. You, keep, you see Keith Thurman make calculated decisions. And I'm only gonna have to make a few to end this fight. You mentioned you mentioned the truth, and you said you only fight two times this year. Will you desire Earl Spence at the top of 2020 as you desire Manny Pacquiao this year? Not at the top. Everybody wants to rush things. You know what I mean? I still think there's just a little bit more time, even if at the uh, the later leg of 2020. You know, um, and that's not that's not too soon. That's not too late. You know, it's a it's a great time. Summertime next year, you would like to fight Earl Spence. I mean, any time when negotiations happen, one contract at a time. This is not football. This is not basketball. There's nothing planned in the season. Y'all like to talk about the future. You've been 50, I'm trying 50 to make. That's why I've been at. But the I'm thing is, the thing is, real talk. I've never seen a contract. People talk about ducking this, ducking that. To duck it, you got to be presented with something and then decline it. That's an official. This guy's not trying to fight that guy. You know, so that's never happened to me in my career. I accept all the challenges, especially if it's a great challenge. I also believe that Errol Spence has a little bit more popularity to grow in the sport of boxing. Just maybe not amongst you, not amongst you, not amongst you. Not amongst 47,000 fans, 400,000 pay-per-view buys. For that was, but that's with Mikey Garcia. It doesn't matter. You and it doesn't Spence matter. It doesn't matter. Mikey Garcia. It is bigger. It is big. Make it happen. But let's make sure it's big. you win it. Let's I'm make sure it. it's bigger. And he's gonna and he's gonna elevate himself if he unifies the title that I unified and he gets the WBC. What else did I tell y'all at the start of the year? I'm not fighting Spence for one title. I'm not fighting Spence for two titles. I'm fighting Spence for how many? Three. Three. Thank you. So that means. Thank you. Okay. 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 I'm Thank with you. I'm with you. Thank Keith. you. Keith, I'm with you. So if he you beats, ain't with me, I, no, I'm, I'm with you on. in terms of understanding what you're Come saying. Come on now. So if he wins, if he beats Sean look. Porter and you win, look. fans can expect Keith Thurman Earl Spence in a first. Keith Thurman against Earl Spence in a unification box. Keith Thurman versus Earl Spence is the next Floyd Pacquiao. Is the next Oscar Tito Trinidad. And we need to make sure that the world knows. And after I handle this and I elevate myself, and he elevates himself, then we fight on another elevated platform. We could have fought two years ago for what? 1.6, 1.8, what's that do? And what's that do for the winner? Fight for one world title, two world titles. The world needs to know that the winner is the king. I think the world is ready. Her and Charlo king. waited too long. How does your, how does your Keith Thurman's name rise after the victory of the man? Pack your foot's kind of what you guys are talking it's a, about. It's a, it's a big step in stone. It's a big, it's a big step up. Look, you can say what you want. Keith Thurman made it to number one. He is number one. He's not number one. I don't care. I'm an undefeated champion of the world. I've been doing this for 23 years. I'm a world-class fighter. I can take a punch. I can give a punch. I'm great for the sport of boxing. When I wasn't here, were the fights that great? Man, even I miss Keith Thurman. When <laughs> I, even I miss Keith Thurman. Well, Keith, when you, you know were gone, what do you think was lost? From the time you beat Garcia, your long layoff, what do you think was lost in your career then, besides time? Nothing, nothing but time. Nothing was really lost, um, you know, because in the meanwhile, the, the irony of what, I, what happened with me is I unified the WBA and the WBC by defeating, undefeated Danny Garcia, okay? I was the first to defeat Danny Garcia. I defeated the undefeated Danny Garcia, unified the titles, had my injury in the fight, never complained. Real talk. And I'm not trying to complain because I knew I could win the fight. I know at 70% I can beat 90% of the fighters out here, okay? And that's not cockiness, that's just understanding the sport. Jab, 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 duck move, right hand, left hook. Jab, 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 duck move, right hand, left hook. Head, head, body, head, okay? I know how to work. These dudes, even though they know how to work, they sit in front of me, they hesitate. That's why I love the Sean Porter fight, because at least he brought me the fight and he didn't hesitate. Best believe July 20th, when I hit Manny with the reminder, he's gonna hesitate. That part of fight gonna be somewhere like that. What kind of respect would you give to my money if he beat you? I will bow down in the middle of the ring. I will bow down in the middle of the ring. I'll say, oh, Senator, oh, Senator, great is ye, oh, Senator. Come on now. 
prepare for the one night. Huh? You Didn't I tell you already? Didn't I tell you last time? What? If, tell, I gotta tell him again. I gotta tell him again. Huh? This is what you call interview bars, okay? I'm not, a, I'm not a rapper. I'm not an actor, okay? I'm a world class fighter. I know the fight game, okay? Blood, sweat, and tears for 23 years. Blood, sweat, and tears for 23 years. You don't understand. I'm living my dream. Do you know what that feels like? It feels great. It feels great. Magnificent. Fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> How did one time come about? Why that nickname? They could have called you a million million. Look, man, because I've been waiting for this one time chance. All right? Because I got this one time to live this dream that I'm living now. Because I have one punch power. You know? I mean, one time is a, is a full spectrum. It's philosophy. Manny Pacquiao, he trying to one time, one time. You know what I mean? That's why I love the name one time. I'm looking for the one time. He's looking for the one time. You looking for the one time. Everybody's looking for one time. You know, and in every fight, it doesn't matter if keep one time thumbs in the ring or not. One time is boxing. It's what boxing fans want to see. Is he gonna land that one punch? Is what happens when that one punch gets through? Is he down and out? Is he down and gets back up? Is he scared? Is he nervous? You know, I mean, boxing is a beautiful sport, man. It's, it's a tough sport, it's a rough sport, it's a, it's a political sport, but ultimately, it is a lovely, lovely, beautiful sport. Okay, now you we're said, gonna, you, now guys you, hold, you guys hold right here because we're going to rotate Pacquiao in this position, and he's going to switch over there to TV. So, probably in the next, I see Pacquiao moving probably in the next couple of minutes. So, one more question. So, we should. Am I going to need a recorder? Which one is yours? Uh, the gray one. Silver? So yeah, silver. Kid, you mentioned, Kid, you mentioned when we were in New York for the Jose Cinco Lopez that you, you're not doing it for the fans, you're doing it for your legacy, etc. Et I'm putting words in your mouth, but I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. Yesterday, you said I watched some interviews where you said you wanted you take some of Manny Pacquiao's fans, of right, course. and add them to your career, add them to your legacy, right? Of course. What I want to know is, okay. do you believe if you owe the fans anything? Okay. And you said no, no to that. No. Why don't no. you believe you owe the fans anything and you want new fans? Why do I owe the fans anything okay. when I give the sport everything? All right, we're going, we're I give the sport everything. <laughs> How do I owe them anything?